Well, talk about a woman who didn't know what her passion was. <laughs> she, she was all over the place, which is a good thing. Um, she was an interior designer. She sold a Chinese seasoning. She had a whole line of seasonings. She sold tapioca pudding. I mean, you name it, she was trying it. She was a true entrepreneur. She didn't even get one product out of the line and she was working on a new one, which drove my father literally batty, but he became the same. Um, which is very cute. I hope maybe that's my destiny too, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so she, one of the things she wanted to do, because she was always looking for something new and something exciting, and, and the depression had hit, so she lost everything. So her interior design business was completely uh, gone. My grandfather lost his job, he was in publishing, and they had nothing. They had to sell everything, they had to rent a room. It was a very difficult time in their life talking about pain and, and learning from that. My father shares stories where he used to wake up in the middle of the night in just cold sweats thinking, oh my God, how are they going to make it to the next day? He was, it was a very, very stressful time in the, the family's life. So she finds this, uh, this old colonial recipe and she just starts to work on it with a friend, Mrs. Neely, and they, they, they perfect the recipe and they give it to a group of women that are having this little party, whatever that means, and she calls the next day and said it was a source of constant comment. That's how it got its name, and uh, she loved it because she thought it really sounded like people were talking about her product, which was really kind of fun. And uh, we would go to advertising agencies and they say, oh, you got to change that name, constant comment. Like, no one even knows what that means. It's just a bad name. And they were like, well, that's our name. We're not going to change it. And uh, today, it's still one of the number one selling specialty 